फ्लो चार्ट हाउ कैन किड्स लर्न एंड यूज फ्लो चार्ट इन दिस वीडियो यू विल लर्न अबाउट वॉट इज अ फ्लो चार्ट बेनिफिट ऑफ ए फ्लो चार्ट फ्लो चार्ट सिंबल्स एप्लीकेशन ऑफ ए फ्लो चार्ट एंड हाउ टू ड्रॉ ए फ्लो चार्ट वॉट इज अ फ्लो चार्ट फ्लो चार्ट इज अ डायग्राम दैट रेप्रेजेंट्स ए प्रोसेस और वर्क फ्लो और एन अलगर्द इट सॉल्व ए टास्क यूजिंग ए स्टेप बाय स्टेप अप्रोच बेनिफिट ऑफ ए फ्लो चार्ट it helps to clarify how things work it helps in finding the key elements of a process it also establishes a common understanding of the process basic flow chart symbols start or end symbol also known as the terminator symbol it is used to represent beginning or end of a workflow process symbol it is used to represent a process action or function decision symbol it is used to represent a decision to be made data symbol it is used to represent input or output of data flow line symbol it is used to represent the order of operation or workflow applications of flow chart making pizza at home using a flow chart now my son ayush is going to narrate the making of pizza at home using a flow chart making pizza let's make pizza get the recipe do you have ingredients no buy ingredients yes wash your hands put on your apron follow the recipe wait for pizza pizza is ready now well mittens Get your pizza from the oven. Enjoy your pizza. Making lemonade using a flow chart. Now my son Aman is going to narrate the making of lemonade using a flow chart. Okay. Let's make lemonade. Do you have lemons? No. Buy lemons. Yes. Do you have sugar? Do buy sugar. Yes. Take a jar. Pour water into the jar. Cut lemons. Squeeze lemon juice into the jar. Put sugar into the jar. Mix water, sugar and lemon juice. Lemon juice is ready now. Serve it and drink it. how to draw a flow chart it can be drawn with pencil and paper or whiteboard and marker or any software which has a drawing feature now let's draw a flow chart of playing chess using a free drawing software called diagrams.net open your favorite web browser and enter the address www.diagrams.net you can also find the url in the description below Diagrams.net has a web app as well as a desktop app. It supports Windows operating system, Mac OS and also Linux. Choose your favorite operating system and download the installer. For this tutorial, I am going to choose online software. Just click on the start button in the website and there is a dialog box. It asks you where to save your diagram file. Either it can be Google Drive, OneDrive or your own device i choose my own device it gives two options create new diagram open existing diagram you can also change storage at any given point of time create new diagram i'm going with the basic diagram default there will be untitled diagram the diagram file extension is draw io I'm going to change the file name play chess and choosing blank diagram click on create button this is the diagrams.net software which has the file menu edit menu view menu arrange extras and help menu this is the drawing area 
and on left side you have scratch pad where you can keep frequently used elements here general items you can even go by a category basic arrows flow chart entity relationship uml and so on but for today we'll be going with the general elements which are available by default to start a flow chart we need ellipse which is a start symbol click on it and hold your left button of your mouse and drag it on the drawing board and place it there and start it let's play chess then to play chess we need a chess board or chess app let's find whether we have a chess board or an app do you have a chess board or app and you can connect this start and the diamond shape which is a decision symbol here you can see when you select any element you will get the arrow marks which are showing four directions and you can just click on the direction which you want to connect the next element it automatically connects the next elements towards the arrow mark or a flow line now if i have a chess board then i need to know how to play chess so let's ask a question so this time you need to make a decision based on the question do you know how to play again i select the above element clicking on the flow line which is pointing to the next element which automatically connects click on the flow line and you just type type y which means yes now if you have a chess board and you know how to play chess you need to find a player now let's find a player so you need to select the process symbol or action or a function and select the above element click on the flow line which is pointing to the next element find a player so once you find the player you can play the game click on the rectangle which is a process or function or action play the game and select the above element click on the flow line which is pointing to the next element play the game you select again ellipse symbol start or end of a process or workflow so here end of the game select the above element click on the flow line that is the end of the game now we'll go back to the first decision which we made do you have a chess board or app if it is no then we can select the arrow mark take the beginning and the end connect to the respective elements click on the arrow mark and this is the flow for no if you do not have a chess board or app buy you just double click buy chess board or download the chess app after that connect to next decision do you know how to play if it is yes we continued finding a player and if it is no we need to find a tutor or a tutorial let's select process symbol find a tutor or tutorial click on the arrow mark 
select on the beginning of the arrow flow line and point it to the process the next step is you need to learn chess select the above element which connects to the next process symbol which is learn chess once you learn chess click on process symbol below learn chess item select the learn chess click on the flow line which connects to the below process practice playing once you practice playing you need to check whether you are confident to play chess so click on decision are you confident so take an arrow the beginning one joint which is highlighted with a light blue color click on that that's a control point select the flow line press y select the practice playing click on the flow line which connects automatically to the next element if you are not confident then you need to practice more recheck if you are confident you need to find a player play the game and end of the game if you are not confident then you need to practice more recheck again until you are confident here is the flow chart to play chess